Hey folks, I'm Chris Brenton, and in an earlier video, I talked you through a definition of threat hunting. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about why we need it. When you look at existing security tools today, they fall into one of two groups. They're either protection-based, this is how we keep the bad people out, or they're response-based, this is how we get the bad people off of our network once they're there. What's been missing is that tie between the two of them. How do we figure out our protections have failed and we actually need to go into response mode? Now you may notice in the response column I have log analysis and there's a reason for that. The reason for that is we've been trying to use log analysis to tie those two together and it just has not been working. And I, I, there's multiple studies that show that. Um, the biggest number for me that shows this does not work is how long it takes to detect a, a breach when it takes place and how it gets detected. When you look at if an internal system successfully gets compromised, phishing attack or whatever the attack vector may be, multiple studies show it's more than six months before we figure out the bad guys are on the network. Six months. I mean, that's an eternity, right? Further, multiple studies show that the way we detect the bad guys got in is through some third party, not through our own accord, meaning logging is just failing us. Uh, I think a great example of that is Starwood. So Starwood got compromised. People were pulling credit card information out of their environment. And they went through multiple PCI attestations, I think like four, um, multiple SOC 2s. I think there was an ISO 27001 in there. Hyatt bought them, did due diligence on their network. Nobody caught they were in a compromised state. Nobody caught they were having credit card information pulled out. So again, the processes we're using today are just not working. You know, this is why we need threat hunting. And, you know, the Verizon uh, 2019 breach report has a lot of really good data in this area. If you need to uh, come up with some ammo to get a decent threat hunting program going within your own environment. And one of the biggest tells for me is shown on the right-hand side here. When you look at how are these things detected, an overwhelming majority of the time, it's by an external third party. Law enforcement comes to you and says, hey, we found your data on Pastebit, or, or a fraud detection gets kicked off, or something else. When you look at how often does log analysis actually catch the bad guys on the inside, it's about 2.5%. That's horrible. That means like one out of every 50 times will actually catch something. That's just not acceptable. So we need something better. And the better that we have today, threat hunting.